um, once you're at a healthy level and your body is back to balance, where yeah. where 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 stage you're at, yeah. um, would you continue using this as part of your meditation, yeah. or would you just? You would. You, I I would say. Is, is uh, it necessary? It, it seems to be after after you've used it for say four weeks, you know, forty minutes a day. You can use it a couple times a week, just to kind of um, just keep the balance good. And, you know, because it's not, definitely not going to hurt anything, it could help. Or you go a few weeks without it, but just go back and I would have it there. And it, and it also can be a, a, a real support uh, in your relapse prevention kit. So if you do start getting under, you know, you forget to do your practices or something happens and you, you start, you know, getting under a lot of stress and you're getting to that point where you're starting to feel cravings or the ideation or the thoughts about using again, click this back on because it'll really help you come back. So yeah, I would say use it um, daily at first for a month and then afterwards use maybe a couple times a week or whatever feels optimal as you, you, you work on it. And, um, and also the nice thing about it, I mean, psychologically, it's just good because it allows us, just like the binaural uh, brain entrainment technology, the Holosync, it allows us to take responsibility for our own uh, recovery. So you don't have to go to a hospital and get, you know, wired up or get injected or something like this. This is stuff you can do at home. Yeah. And this particular unit costs about 190 bucks, 190 dollars, and the... The, the most expensive one is Alpha Stem, which I hear is a very good technology, but it's almost like $500. But if you start looking at cost effectiveness, you might say, oh, $200 is a lot, but try looking at the cost of $200 of antidepressants over a year. So it's very, very cost effective. Uh, and this, you know, unless you break it or do something stupid, it'll last you for, for a long, long time. So it's a very effective technology, and I think it's just a, a very exciting um, addition to um, to our integral recovery uh, practice and, and medicine bag. Is there any reason you'd want to stop using it? Um, I mean, if it, since it works so well, yeah, and since it adds this wonderful feeling of well-being, I mean, who wouldn't want that feeling? I mean, why would you stop integrating it into your practice? Well, day? you wouldn't. You just wouldn't need to use it all the time. You know, you first want to go through. Now, in other words, they say that people with very deep, deep clinical depression, the the um, uh, in, in some protocols, it's, it's three weeks of, of you know maybe an hour of uh, of cranial electrical stimulation a day, and then. But of course, in in integral recovery practice, as as we've indicated, we're talking about a lifetime practice. So I would say this would be a great addition to a lifetime practice. The technology is, you know, it's, for me, me, it's very used, but uh, for, new. But I've read a lot of papers and a lot of uh, mm -hmm. reports on it and studies now and so I would say probably the optimal thing would be use it for a month you can do it right along with your your hour meditation and it's interesting when you're when you're doing it along with the binaural uh, well, I, immediately I noticed it was just a lot of stillness you know it seemed just to make my my my, uh, my meditation that much deeper very nice and at first it's kind of irritating you know it's like no oh, this thing and I was like I'm gonna do it anyway. I've got to. I've got to learn about this, and but after the first, you know, a couple of times, it just feels good. I'm, I'm used to it. I'm totally adopted to it. And it's fine. So um, it's been, uh, and I've noticed people that that I've worked with, my my beloved guinea pigs, and, and I, I had a friend come over who was we were doing some work together over here, editing and doing different things, and she was just exhausted. She'd been working on. She did 40 minutes, and then the rest of her day, she was rocking. So oh, even at the, after the initial session, it seems to, uh, the, the, the good feelings last 7, 8, 10, 12 hours. Have you noticed that in yourself as well? Oh yeah, yeah, it's very good. Feel feels, feels really good. So, uh, it's very nice. And like I said, it's been around for a long time. There's tons of clinical studies. It has to be prescribed by either a um, nurse practitioner, a doctor, a psychiatrist, uh, physician's assistant or um, a rehab specialist in the United States. Okay, and so so you should if you, you should consult a uh, kind of enlightened um, um, healthcare professional when you do this. I don't want to get thrown in jail. This but, can't do any harm, though. Hey, they make the laws. I don't. But that that's it. We're the only United States. Is, so if you're in Canada, go ahead and order. I mean, just don't just do it, okay? If you're in Mexico, it's fine. If you're in Europe, do it. You guys have been doing it longer than us anyway. So, but, so that, that's just the legal stipulation. Okay. Uh, just do that. And, 
Um, yeah, there was something else I was going to say about that. But so anyway, it's extraordinary. Uh, it is another major push, and, and I, I want to note that I'm not saying there is a cure for addiction, okay? But there are, I'm not saying binaural is a cure for addiction, I'm not saying this is a cure for addiction, I'm not saying exercise is a cure for addiction, I'm not saying emotional release is a cure for addiction, I'm not saying nutrition, I'm not saying the aqua map is a cure, but you put all these things together and you're getting pushed very powerfully in the right direction. And the way I visualize it, eventually you're just pushed off the, the twister mat. You're pushed off the chess board. You're, you're, it's a whole new game. It's, it, it no longer becomes, oh, I can't use drugs anymore. It becomes the game of optimal health, achievement, creativity, actualization, and even realization, self-realization. So it just changes it. So, and as um, the nice thing about the, the, the aqua mat, uh, and I'll say this here, is is uh, it, I'm, in other words, this is the first, the first word in integral, um, integral recovery. But as we find, just like this is a, you would say this is an upper, upper right intervention. You're actually restructuring, you're rebalancing the brain chemistry, you're recharging the cells electrically, or it's kind of mysterious and they have a pretty good idea of what's going on, but still there's a little mystery there. But immediately it's going to start affecting your interiors. You just feel better. Depression lifts. The cravings decrease. Uh, sense of well-being builds. And of course, that can affect your relationships with the world. Of course it is. You're going to be a happy, you know, much more balanced, effective person. And of course, it's going to make you much, much more effective in the world. But if <clears throat> two years from now we find practices are, are better than what we're doing, or a better version of binaural, a better version of this and that. We can we can subtract something that's you know was good then and add the new stuff, or we find something that works in addition to all this stuff, which there's some other stuff I've, I've thought about or work with. We can just yes and yes and and add it the different practices as we go. So um, the the aqua map itself allows it's a self-correcting system. It really allows us to keep evolving, keep optimizing, keep uh, adding new data, keep doing new research, keep uh, comparing notes from other practitioners. So the more people that become engaged in this and actually do the work, the more interesting and the more uh, the, just the, the better it's going to get. And anybody who, who takes it up at, at this early stage is going to be uh, a foundational pioneer. So that's, uh, that's kind of exciting. You, you know, you get to be like when the, the big book of AA was written in 1939, there were probably 60 people that had tried doing it at that point. And that's kind of, we're at the stage, we're kind of at the 1939 stage mm -hmm. of, of integral recovery. Um, so you're, start, you're still treating individuals? Yeah, working with point? individuals. And, Are you and, able to treat groups of people? We well that that or is that in the that, that needs to be done. If you, there's kind of informal groups of people that are doing it, and of course there's the integral world, and we're you know that's just emerging. It's a small group of people that are just wrapping their heads around integral theory and integral practice as an ongoing thing, as a new development in human consciousness, and we're probably a, just a very small subset of that. But there's a lot of interest among many pretty exciting people. So uh, very cool people, uh, integral folks are, are, are pretty pretty interesting inspiring. So, uh, any questions?